Hello everybody, and in today's video I wanted to talk about what to do and what not to do when you go to, let's say, the Salt Lake Fan X or San Diego Comic Con. I've only ever been to the Salt Lake one because I live in Utah. Number one, <laughs> if you don't have any money but you still want to look at celebrities, just stand from afar and just look at them like, yep, there they are. And another great thing, look at artwork. There's so many artists at FanX. FanX would not be FanX without all of its artists. There's so many artists. There's a whole area dedicated to just art and different artists' art styles. And they're all so cool. Like, I could show you the ones I bought in. Maybe I'll make a video on that. It's always good to support local and traveling artists. Even a compliment would mean the world to them. Obviously, buying some of their work, work that you really love, it works out for everybody, you know? They get to keep doing what they love doing and you get a really cool piece of work. Who thinks they can just text me? Go to panels. Even if you don't really care about who it is, they're still always fun. Especially big panels for like starring guests that they've been talking about for a while, you know, like the big guests. Even if you don't really care about what they're in or who they are, they're still always really fun. They never fail to disappoint. Or if like you don't cosplay because you don't want to dedicate hours to making a really cool costume, then you could just uh, go around and appreciate other people's really cool cosplay. Unless they're furries, then don't appreciate them. <laughs> Another thing, bring snacks. Bring a few sodas, bring some cookies, granola bars, Pop-Tarts, whatever, because the food there is ridiculously expensive. I wanted some Reese's, right? So I go over to the vending machine. Those were the most expensive Reese's I've ever gotten out of a vending machine. It was like three or four dollars. For two Reese's, there best be gold sprinkled on them. So bring snacks. Another one is be considerate to others. Remember where you are. You're in a public space with hundreds of other people. Be considerate in general. That's the best advice I can give. Now, unless you're talking to a furry, then you don't don't have to be considerate, okay? Just Dalton said so. You don't have to be nice to them. <laughs> the most important don'ts is when you go up in a panel, like especially a really big panel, a really popular panel, you begin your question with a very personal story that just overall makes it longer for you to get to your question. No one really cares. <laughs> Everyone is there for the guest. Everyone is there to hear them talk. So when you get up there, if there's more than one, just say, my question is for this person, or my question is, and then you go right into it. But like some people come up and they're like, this game saved my life. It's like, no one cares, Brenda, okay? Everyone knows that you care a lot about this. That's why you're at this panel, in line, asking a question, okay? Everyone already knows how much it means to you. If you have a very personal story to share, I feel like that's something you probably shouldn't just announce in front of the entire audience. You probably should go up to their booth if you really want to let them know. I'm sure it, it would mean a lot to them to know that their work meant a lot to you. So save it for when you go to their booth if you have a personal story. I've been going to Salt Lake Fan X for years since I was in ninth grade and they do one in spring that's smaller, doesn't have as many guests, that's the one I was just at. It only lasts for two days, Friday and Saturday. And then they have one in the fall and that's usually the bigger one. There's usually way more people, way more guests. Advice? If you can do everything on Thursday and Friday and there's no guests you care about seeing on Saturday, I'd recommend not going on Saturday. It's absolute chaos. There's so many people, it's insane. I was like, holy shit, this is nuts. <laughs> So I've been going for a long time. Anyway, that was the do's and don'ts for going to Fanex Salt Lake or if there's any other Fanexes. And make sure to leave this video a like and make sure to subscribe. Thank you. And hit the bell button so you get notified when I make more videos. Because all my videos are awesome. Trust me, I'm, I know I make them. And I will see all you guys in my next video. Shotgun.